Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading, what is about to finally go your way. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards, the one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. So we have pile one with wheel of fortune. We have pile two with the magician. And we have pile three with judgment. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find the timestamps and I will see you guys in your sub readings. Hello, pile one and welcome to your reading. So the lucky pile, I heard your luck is about to change. You know, here with Wheel of Fortune, uh, we have a wheel. There's movement towards something fortunate, something lucky, something that you're destined to. So yeah, positive movement here for sure. Let's see what that is about. And we're going to figure out together here what is about to finally go your way. And we're going to start with these two smaller cards here and we have thoughts hmm okay thoughts maybe we keep it over here and we have versita versatility versatility wow that was a hard word so sun in gemini in the third house house of communication hmm versatility the sun in Gemini, something is becoming, that's funny because just before I started the reading, like I was seeing, like I, my eyesight went a little bit blurry and I was thinking like, what's going on? So this was just before I started pile one, I was thinking, yeah, maybe something is going to become very clear for pile number one. So yeah, something is becoming, something is clearing up for you. There's some fog here, thoughts. You've been thinking a lot about sit situation or a problem in your life and with Gemini uh, in the third house, it, which is the house where Gemini belongs in. Uh, and Gemini is an air sign. And like I said, the third house is about communication. So something is going to become like something is going to be cleansed out in the air between you and a person or you're going to get clarity about a situation. And look at the flexibility here of this uh, woman. I don't think we need to censor this card. No, I don't think so. So yeah, the flexibility here. So somehow, look how you bend. <laughs> somehow everything is going to bend in your favor. Yeah, something has been stubborn and stuck, but now your luck is going to change. And now a situation is coming, is going to solve because clarity is coming. So yeah, let's, we have a lot of cards. So let's just keep going here. The desert. Yeah, you've been desperate here. You've been in the desert. You've been uh, without water, without food, even drowning. Look, there's only one hand. You didn't let go of hope, at least. That's good. You know, one hand sticking up. You're like, yes, you know, still reaching for the moon here. Still still trying to, to get out of something. So, yeah, you're going to get out of something. And it has been swallowing you. <laughs> yeah, It's been a very diff difficult situation. It's been swallowing you in into this abyss of the desert the darkness of the desert and somehow it feels like the desert sand i feel like it's, it should be hot but i feel like cold something with hot and cold maybe yeah maybe there's a situation that's been going hot and cold <clears throat> and uh, or it could be you thinking about doing something and then not doing it going back and forth something is his has not been solved and it's even been causing you like a lot of reflection like a lot of thinking about this, wondering, a lot of thoughts, you know, what should I do about this? And somehow something didn't bend. It sounds so strange. <laughs> something was stubborn, did bend, was stuck. I keep seeing like something is m like changing now, becoming flexible and molding into your favor almost. And we have flow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, something is definitely moving now. Something was stuck, now it's going to move. 
Hmm. I don't know what is going to make it move, but somehow I just keep hearing your luck is just going to change. Yeah, your luck is just going to change. Something is pulling you forward. And I think it has something to do with your destiny. Because Wheel of Fortune also talks about destiny, dharma, purpose. So somehow this the, the, the pull of your purpose or destiny is kind of pushing and pulling you through this. So this feels like an obstacle in the way for you to reach something else. Yeah, it's like a roadblock. Like a roadblock or a stalemate or... Uh, some like an hindrance in your way it's not the end result it's not the end goal in itself but it is like something that needs to be overcome that has been holding you okay hot and cold hot and cold unbalanced unbalanced lost hmm not fulfilled in some way Hmm. It, this movement and this change also is going to give you like a lot of good things. So you go from a very bad place to a very good place, actually. <clears throat> With the sun in Gemini, it's like you, you, you didn't get good news. You didn't. You weren't understood. And I don't know why, but pile number one, there's always a lot of things going on with my voice in pile number one. So I think like if you're many times drawn to pile one, it could have to do something with your throat chakra and your voice being able to. No, even though, you know, your throat chakra is also about being in touch with your own intuition and knowing what you want to say, you know, <laughs> knowing what you want to say and believing in yourself. And uh, so somehow it's like something has, there was a lot of fog. Yeah, a lot of fog. And there was a lot of thoughts jumping back and forth, hot and cold and making you confused. But now it's not confusing anymore. Now your voice is opening up. Now you know what to say and you're being listened to as well and things are solving now things are solving now we are going to come back into the flow and things are bending to your favor things that wasn't flexible that seemed to be impossible situations to overcome <clears throat> or maybe one Im impossible situation you even drowned here in the emotions and in the you it was very it's like almost like a desperate feeling here of like hello can somebody just please get me out of this and now you're coming out of that you're even resting so nicely here on the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, it's just moving. There's just time for this movement. And I keep feeling like your purpose is pulling you. Somehow with the divine timing, you're meant to be somewhere else. So now it's very um, evident that this is in, this obstacle is in the way. So you just can't be there anymore. You know, it has to, you have to overcome that so you can continue your journey. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Yeah, you know Taurus energy here. And once again, it feels like you're being pulled. I see this uh, ox or whatever it's called, you know, how it pulls you. You know, you're sitting in a little wagon and it pulls you with its strength. And that kind of feels like this movement. And, you know, very grounded energy is not pulling you forward. You're solving, you're sol solving things that has been... Uh, I, I, it feels like they have been like quicksand, you know, it's been hard to keep you, it's been hard to overcome them because <clears throat> they've been very tricky. So every time you kind of go into trying to solve it, there is just a lot of confusion. There could be arguments, even if there's another person, or there could be fears, or they could just be like unclarity, just not knowing which step to take. So... But you, I don't know what it is that's pulling you. But I, I actually, I do. It feels like it feels like your soul. It's time for your soul to be in another place in your life. And this pull is very strong. It's like an, it's like a universal pull. <laughs> yeah, it's like your soul's energy is pulling you and saying, yeah, okay, <laughs> little little me down on earth. You know, okay, we have been stuck in this situation way too long. Now it's time because now you're meant to move forward your dharma, your purpose, your destiny, or another place that you're meant to be. So it's like it's helping you to pull helping you to pull there we have full moon in taurus so really showing like something is coming to its end and you're going to release something your dreams need a practical plan that feels like your dreams is going to take off yeah it's been some kind of stagnant energy here but now it's going to take off i, I say i feel a lot of steady movement a lot of flow and steady movement forward. And I speak very fast. <clears throat> and I almost feel like a little bit hyped up here in this reading. And yeah, my, my voice is making a fuss like always in Pile 1. So yeah, it's like uh, it, there's a lot of things happening and going on for your Pile 1. But I, I want to say like you're going to be out of a storm. 
in one area of your life there is some kind of storm or desert desert shows the lack of something you're in the desert there's you know you have nothing in the desert and if you don't have what you need in the desert you will die you know because the desert is a very challenging place yeah it could always it could even even show that you've been in some kind of dark night of the soul or like really going through some challenging soul lessons or something like that but it's like it's and something was just not there was like something that wasn't bending or being flexible or moving in your favor but now that's going to move in your favor yeah even with the taurus here stubborn energy there's been stubborn energy that you've been working through or dealing with <clears throat> rain wow <laughs> oh i like this energy coming in yeah cleansing purification and hydration maybe drinking extra water is good for you pile number one also to clear out you know the voice because there's something going on with your voice yeah clear that out but rain peace look at this peaceful cleansing purifying rain so yeah it, i feel like storm is going to over and finally it's like things are going to calm down for you but also move with the Taurus energy, steady forward movement. Taurus is connected to the second house and Venus. So it's about harmony. It's about uh, harmony and balance in your financial situation, uh, in the in your material, like material possessions and things kind of like you need, like root chakra things. So I really feel like you are going to feel very grounded very grounded, very clear-minded, and also purified because something that has been a long-standing problem, I feel like this has been long-standing, is finally cleansing, beautifully released from your life. Yeah, very, very beautifully released here. True offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. We all have our cross to carry. So yeah, somehow... <clears throat> this was your cross to carry so somehow there was something you know wheel of fortune so it could be something karmic you know that you went through there was a heavy burden that you needed to carry but the, you're, it, you can i feel like releasing that now yeah you had a heavy cross to bury you had a burden it was a long-standing problem maybe and look this free now with your freedom and offering here also once again feels make me feel like you're going to be very helped by universe the divine your spirit guides and your soul because the divine timing is here for you to release this and to move on to something else something that's that comes next on your journey yeah something that comes next on your journey that is more aligned with some kind of higher purpose is what i feel hmm so yeah it's kind of like releasing that maybe some of you are holding on to something that you have already dealt with you have already released with that really really you had or you're already finished that off but something was stubbornly lingering around in your energy maybe some residue of energy maybe some kind of emotional wound that was holding on to something or maybe just a very stubborn person that was just uh, difficult to get rid of or something like that but yeah yeah you're getting rid of it and it beautifully released here it's going to be beautifully released from your energy and from your life. <clears throat> Believe, belief, make it real. Wow. So you're going to get back a lot of hope and trust because hope and trust and good feelings. Yeah, good feelings. So this is like violet color. Makes me think of the crown chakra. So once again, yeah, there has been a lot of confusion and a lot of fog about your destiny maybe about your purpose maybe about people in your life second house here maybe work situation financial situation maybe practical things maybe even love situation because we have venus also is connected to taurus so there has been like a lot of not kind of seeing you know what is for you and what is not for you but now it's going to be <clears throat> because you release like something really big here that has been some kind of long-standing problem it feels like a long-standing problem because i mean it sucked all of you up here it's only the hand here left <laughs> so yeah that makes me feel like yeah you've been doing you've been dealing with this for a long time and uh, because you come out of it and because it took so much energy from you you're going to get your like a lot of power back but also because also this was some kind of cross that you carried meaning this was some kind of karmic situation that had so lessons that you needed somehow to overcome it also means that overcoming that changed you changed you in some way 
and the way you see yourself, to say the way you see the world, and also opened up your certain chakras, probably crown chakra here, but yeah, certain chakras opened up. That means that you are more aligned with a higher energy of your soul, which also means that your destiny is unfolding and things that are meant for you are unfolding now. So yeah, it's going to be, you're going to feel very good in this because you're going to feel like new, new, like a new newborn baby almost. Yeah, like a reborn. And things are going to feel very good, I think, for you. With versatility here also makes me feel like there's going to be, I feel like you're changing your way of thinking and seeing things. You're becoming more open-minded. Before, maybe you were really thinking small or thinking like like in a little box but now it's going to be your your rising above yourself like your own mind so you're really you're really opening up a lot and with this opening up a lot this cleansing process here the flow here really it's going to be like fun things unfolding for you where all of a sudden you're getting ideas that you never thought that you would follow through and now because you have also Taurus here dreams need a practical plan you're starting to follow those plans through and I think you're going steadily very steadily with the Taurus energy here moving and forward and creating a, like a beautiful new type of life for yourself so we have visionary wow <laughs> yeah look at that so yeah third eye crown chakra and throat chakra you know those three chakras are really the spiritual chakras so yeah you're really opening up that you're learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas into action so yeah you, you're becoming a visionary maybe number 40 is significant for somebody here but yeah you're following ideas true before there was a lot of blockages in your future like thinking about your future thinking about different areas of your future yeah there's been a lot of blockages there but not, not anymore now you're going to get ideas and you're going to be able to follow them true because now you believe in yourself because there's no fog there there's no unclarity there and you're not you're the desert has you're out of the desert you know you're it's not swallowing your whole and maybe you even released a person or somebody because this man is thinking of somebody yeah maybe you're even released some somebody or something that was holding you back yeah that was holding you back okay let's do some tarot cards <clears throat> And let's see which deck we should use for you today. Okay, that just fell out, so I guess that's the one. <laughs> and we're going to use Astro Matrix Tarot. Okay, I just actually it's just here. Yeah, look how easily easy accessed it was. It was just laying next to me. So yeah, <laughs> I like that. So let's see what we got here for you. And how many cards can we fit? Yeah, let's just do as many cards. I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing with the deck. <laughs> three cards, yeah. I think three, something with three. Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. <laughs> something with three is like also once again, it's like I hear you're going to be very lucky. I mean, you're going to feel lucky. And maybe it was a very long time ago you felt lucky. Because I really feel like, wow, that was the first thing I heard, you know. Luck is going to change for you. When I, when I just before I started your reading... Yeah, luck is going to change for you. And it's been, I really feel like you've been in almost in quicksand or it's like, you know, when sometimes I say walking two steps forward and one step backward. It feels like it's been like a lot of struggles for you to like really move on, like moving in, uh, what is it called? Like soil or quick, yeah, quicksand is maybe good. <laughs> moving and like, oh, it's been like heavy, like really heavy moving forward. So it's really nice here with the flow and even the rain showing like, very peacefully you know being able to move on here so yeah let's see here we have queen of wands wow and queen of pentacles i mean come on look at that queen of wands and queen of pentacles yeah luck is going to change it's finally your time to feel like a queen i mean health your health is getting better and you're getting back your inspiration and motivation yeah i felt like you know i said that it felt like your body has been heavy it's been heavy to move forward not heavy anymore you're getting vitality you're getting energy motivation inspiration creativity is blossoming and uh, you know with the queen of pentacles here also you know goes so good together with the second house you are handling your finances like perfectly everything is solving financially for you house home all these areas maybe that have was uh, troubling you in one way or another and something with your health is becoming better so yeah you're blooming and blossoming you're becoming a queen it's your time to sit on the throne 
you know? Yeah, it's your time to sit on the throne. Beautiful. I'm so curious about this last card. <laughs> and we have seven of pentacles. Yeah, look at this. Seven long years are over. And I, when I said I wanted to cry, <laughs> yeah, wow, that hit me so hard because I, re I could feel the struggle. Yeah, I could really feel the struggle. And you look at this. We have Saturn. Saturn in Taurus here with the seven of pentacles. Once again, Taurus energy. And yeah, a lot of work and like a lot of balance. You're, you've been trying to find harmony and beauty in your life, you know, and balance in your life. But it's really been a struggle for you with Saturn here. Hard work, really, really hard work for you. Seven long years for some of you. Seven long years with struggle. And look at this lady here. She doesn't look like a queen, you know. She has blisters on her hands and her feet are tired. And, you know, her back is hurting and she didn't have money to go to the hairdresser so she just put it in a thing like that <laughs> you know so yeah this is kind of it symbolizes you know the past for you i don't know what those seven long years was for you but with saturn here once again makes me think there was some there was this heavy cross for you to carry now it's time to release that cross offer it to to the divine they're ready to take it off your back because lessons learned and everything is fine and now it's time to get that off your back release that cleanse make yourself healthy and strong and not just that with visionary here a lot of creative energy here moving towards your purpose you know creatively co-creating with the universe a beautiful life for yourself where you are the queen it's your time now it's your time to sit on the throne it's your time to feel good it's your time to brag about the big movements that you do in your life and feel proud of yourself about the good things coming into your life yeah it's your time now and i feel like this i feel so tired <laughs> yeah seven long years so yeah some of you really was seven long years and I feel so tired. This is good for you. Yeah, very good for you. A lot of beauty and harmony is coming into your life. Mm. Okay, pile number one. I love to do this reading. It was very nice. And this was your reading. So if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, pile one. I wish you all the best. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. So you felt drawn to the magician, a very powerful major arcana card, and also a very powerful archetype. You know, the magician has all the resources and willpower and skills to manifest and co-create whatever they set their mind to. Yeah, it's a very powerful card, actually. So let's see here what is about to finally go your way. Let's unfold that together. And we're going to start with these cards and we have concern and we have 33 here, which also talks a lot about, you know, uh, creativity, fertility, but being able to master things. So something with your skills, something with your ability to manifest here. Concern. Yeah, you're, you're very concerned here, you're sitting here thinking about this, maybe. Let's see what else we have. We have Venus in Virgo with discrimination. Venus in Virgo in the sixth house with discrimination. And the sixth house is the house of work and health and everyday life, everyday routines. And uh, yeah, hmm. Hmm. So what's, what are you concerned about here? You're, yeah, you're going to solve. Yeah, so what is about to finally go your way? Something that you're really concerned about? In, I would say it's in your in the area of your house of work and health. Could even be coworkers or pets or something with your work environment or um, something with your everyday routines. Something, hmm, discrimination. Virgo, Venus in Virgo. Let's do more cards here. And, you know, look how it's, it's tra something transformed. You see this? Very, yeah, something has transformed here with the butterflies. So this really feels like, yeah, you released this and now it's peace here in this area of your life. Yeah, so something was troubling you in this area and now it's peace again. <clears throat> Discrimination, it kind of feels like being somehow left out or like being disconnected or this concern, even sit, you're sitting alone here thinking about this, not being understood. This heart, some kind of disharmony you know virgo if you look at virgo at a shadow aspect virgo can be very criticizing so something is like criticizing bullying bullying is going maybe to an extreme here 
But something is unbalanced and worrisome. Hmm. <clears throat> well, we need to do more cards. The Pilgrim. Wow, finding answers. You know, the Pilgrim goes on a pilgrimage to... It's kind of like a spiritual transformational journey. And seeking, but what do, what do the pilgrims seek? I think seek deeper connection with whatever they believe in. Uh, whatever they believe in. But it's like seeking a deeper connection with themselves. So somehow seeking, you're going to find, and you, there's concern here and there's the pilgrim here. So really looking for an answer, maybe to a health problem. Maybe to a health problem. Or maybe to a work problem or situation. Or maybe something with your pet. And I know discrimination doesn't really mean that. But somehow it feels like something is like... Something is being discriminated. Like something is being like pushed or like... Not balanced. So it's like kind of finding the answer to this imbalance. In your body or in your why you can't manifest work or why you can't work this out <laughs> yeah wow this was a lot it was very tricky here yeah so really 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 concerning you here <clears throat> it's really concerning you and it's tricky here but yeah you're, you're you're going to find answers and it's going to be powerful answers and or a pow very powerful shift here with the magician Bi very powerful shift here let's continue with more cards here let's see how this develops courage Hmm. Going, doing or going something that you've been holding yourself back from doing or going <laughs> or taking action. Because the magician is all about taking action. Yeah, the magician is like, uh, you know, look at this. The magician has all the tools. He has the, you know, you have the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, the ace of cups, and the ace of wands. I, it's not the aces, but you know, just because it's one, it made me think of the aces. So yeah, a lot of new energy here, a lot of force. There's a lot of force in the magician and all the tools the magician needs to go on this pilgrimage, to find the answers, to find what they were concerned about, to, to find the solution about what they were con concerned about. And maybe this this is... Demanding like a lot of courage, maybe going outside your comfort zone and to, to do this, maybe discrimination, maybe even people are saying, you're, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're not going to find, you're not going to solve that. Or maybe somebody's criticizing you for your choices or thinking that you're, I don't know, this or that, but you're doing it anyways. You're going anyways. And in, in this also with courage here is also demands a lot of courage for you because you are doing something that is outside your comfort zone and it could be that you're a little bit scared of this but you're doing it anyways and you're finding beautiful you know it's a pilgrimage you're going to find what you are looking for but i think you're even going to find something more you know finding what you're looking for and even finding something deeper because if you already had that deeper thing you didn't need to go to the pilgrimage. A pilgrimage is a sacred thing. You know, it's a very sacred, mystic thing even. Who knows what happens on the pilgrimage? Who knows? The one thing that we can know is that you're not the same person as when you started. Initially, you start, you decide to go on a pilgrimage because of this or that reason, you know. But who you are at the end of the pilgrimage is not who you, or what you were thinking or maybe even what your intuitions, in, intentions was in the beginning. So it really feels like there's going to be like a big positive very very positive thing happening for you here where you are really freeing yourself look at this beautiful butterflies and how like you're standing here barefoot there's a fox here and you're just like releasing this so somehow something you're going to release something that has been a burden for you yeah concerning you being a burden for you hindering and stopping your flow or some somehow you know, you've been very concerned about this. So somehow it's making you, made you feel bad. And if it's a health problem, I mean, that's a real physical problem. Or, you know, some could even be like psychological problem or something like that. Or something with your work or your creative project or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do more cards. What do you need to release? Yeah, so you're going to release something. And uh, the card shows like a beautiful release here. It's not this heavy purge. 
even you know the pilgrim you know it's a beautiful like i said it's like a sacred <laughs> i sound strange like a sacred cleansing yeah it's not like a heavy purge it's like a sacred cleansing uh, but it, it demands you to go outside your comfort zone with courage and the magician yeah it's going to demand that you go outside your comfort zone and uh, you could be some people could be concerned maybe like what is part two doing now or why are they letting go of their job yeah maybe some of you are letting go of a job and some people are like concerned and thinking like what what are what are you doing now are you going on a pilgrimage are you have you gone crazy <laughs> you know <laughs> or something like that are you going to sell all your things and move into the jungle or into the forest or you're going to you know go sit there and meditate in the corner or you know or maybe like i don't know like something like that could be or <clears throat> maybe finding some alternative treatments for a long-standing illness or some kind of physical problem or psychological problem maybe going into the jungle doing ayahuasca or maybe finding some you know an alternative medicine for some physical illness that you have and people are thinking like are you insane doing that but you're following some kind of inner calling to to do this and this is the right decision for you. Yes, it's going to be a little bit challenging, you know, with courage and going outside your comfort zone, but the release seems to be very beautiful here. So, I mean, with the magician, you can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong. You, the magician, always succeeds, actually. So, yeah. Chamomile. Yeah, oh, come on. I, I, keep, I kept feeling this, you know, gentleness, relaxation, and sleep. Yeah, I kept feeling like this very cleansing release of something and yeah cleansing release of something gentle so once again this is not like a heavy purge i think like the, what demands courage from you is just following this alternative path of doing something and changing your life i think that is where what it's kind of going outside the comfort zone because you're used to maybe doing things in one way or you have a work and you have a doctor maybe or you have certain routines and like because there's going to be like a little bit disruption here because it's like you are retraining or reprogramming your life or changing your life you know big time here so it's really going outside the comfort zone but the cards really show here even with the waning moon here it's like so peaceful and the chamomile gentleness relaxation sleep you're going to sleep so good <laughs> so maybe this really has been keeping you up at nights and uh, having a hard time sleeping at night or stressing you out in some way, causing a lot of stress. So, yeah, I mean, really, like, wow, it's going to be so good for you. It's going to be pe more peace and calm coming into your life. Yeah. Mm. Good. It's going to be good. Like, good choice. Reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. So, yeah, something, yeah, you're going to solve, like, a problem. I really feel that. You're going to solve, like, a problem. And it's, it could be like in the beginning it was feeling like, yeah, if, something, if it's something with your health uh, or something difficult in a work situation, could really feel like, oh, why, why is this here? Maybe you're even blaming yourself, you know, new age. I think it's, I think it's too harsh, you know, because yeah, like a lot of new age spirituality, it's like, yeah, we manifest our reality and everything that we are manifesting into our reality. You know, if there's something like bad we're manifesting, we can say like, yeah, why did you manifest that? You know, <laughs> and that's, I feel like that is putting on too much burden for a person. Then we feel bad about that. Like, yeah, why did I manifest this illness or these difficult people? So that's not adding to our healing process. Actually, I think that is like unbalanced because on a higher uh, there is free will of course and of course we manifest our reality but there is also something higher than that so we can't put all the burden on ourselves, thinking like why did I manifest this and why did I do that so maybe it could be something with releasing guilt or shame because of a situation has come into your life and you know some of you could, could even think like yeah I'm so spiritual I shouldn't have these kind of problems or something like that but like I said there is higher things also, you know, we don't know everything, you know, we know a little bit, <laughs> you know, if we're lucky, you know, we are, we know, yeah, if we're lucky, we are aware and awake, you know, but of course, the universe and the the world and the connection with all the people and everything that's happening is like, it's like beyond our, our consciousness many times, you know, so it's like, but somehow, you know, reframe, this is happening for me, not to me, there's, there's was a long, there was a, so yeah, maybe long standing for some of you, but there was a problem here and it was feeling like, 
you're making you feel bad. But now because you take control of this with the hands here, now it was concerning you, but now because you're somehow with the pilgrimage here, there's like the sacred portal opening up for you here, guiding you towards outside your comfort zone and to take steps to release this. And then all of a sudden, the thing that was making you feel bad, all of a sudden it's in your hands and all of a sudden maybe it's a gift, you know? <laughs> you know, this was all, I can't remember that quote, you know? Uh, but yeah, uh, the thing that first made you feel bad could be some kind of hidden blessing. So somehow you are reframing the situation. And I think the one thing that's making that happen is because now it's in your hands, now it's in your control. You know, you are taking back your power and your control by overcoming this and releasing this. It's going to feel very good for you to do that. Yeah. And we have discernment. <laughs> yeah. Discrimi I was thinking like discernment and discrimination. Judge wisely. So yeah, with discrimination and discernment, makes me think there has been like a lot of thoughts, concern. I want to say that pile one and two today went like perfectly together. So yeah, I really feel like if you want to watch pile number one, you should do that as well because they, they were kind of almost, uh, yeah, I went like really like was a, this just followed pile number two, actually one, I mean. So yeah, a lot of thoughts and a lot of fears and a lot of holding yourself back or like kind of not knowing what to do and uh discernment to judge wisely i feel like you're going to know exactly what to do you know with this pilgrim here you know the pilgrimage and the pilgrim really like a sacred door opening up and all of a sudden you know with the magician you're like yeah i i kind of know what to do now like let's try this <laughs> you know let's try this like the answer just comes to you so it could be that you're channeling down this answer in some way or this idea comes to you and all of a sudden you're not thinking about it you're not overthinking it thinking should i do this or should i do that or what happens if i do this you know overthinking everything so yeah and you're not scared anymore of doing the wrong choice because somehow you can feel in your gut that this is the right choice to do yeah i think the pilgrim is very strong in your reading here like really the pilgrim and the magician is really pushing through all the fears all the thoughts thoughts from yourself thoughts from your environment People saying this, people say, do this, do that. You saying, do this, do that, not knowing what to do. And I really feel like, yeah, the magician and the pilgrim energy is really pushing through here, taking back control. All of a sudden it's in your, in your hands because you're getting answers and you are healing and releasing and everything is like opening up. Yeah, it's like really like a lot of, there's a lot of confusion here, a lot of tricky energy and like, whoa, like a labyrinth. Yeah, I see like a labyrinth. It's like, yeah, I don't even know where to go anywhere. And you try to get out, you can't get out. You're just, you've been running in circles, you know? You go and that's, it's kind of like people are like in different paths of this labyrinth. So you go one way, oh, that's that problem. And you go another way, oh, that's that problem. And you go another way and that's that problem. And it's like, I want to sit down and scream. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I just want to sit down and scream and just say like, I don't know what to do to take myself out of this. So I don't know what the situation is, but that's how it feels. But all of a sudden there is like a path opening up and all of a sudden you know what to do. You're taking the steps. Once again, don't be scared of moving outside your comfort zone. Do the things that even other people would think like you're crazy for doing that. Because the calling, I think it's going, the voice that's that's guiding you is going to be very strong. It could be with the magician here also that your higher self is really guiding you out of this now. Because of this screaming. <laughs> I want to sit down and scream and say like, I can't take this anymore. Like, can you, like, how am I going to get out of this? So yeah, earth shifts. Wow, I got goosebumps all over my arm. Earth shifts, yeah, everything shifts. Look at this, reframe, reprogram, shifting, shifting your energy. I mean, the whole earth shifts for you. You're very connected to Mother Earth and as such, you experience all that she does. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't see how I was holding the card. So yeah, earth shifts in your favor. So yeah, there's going to be like a lot, big shift. I mean, like an almost like an, like an earthquake shift. And in your life. And this may be, yeah, courage. Don't be scared of this shift because certain steps that you take, like I said, I said that a million times, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> it's going to demand you going outside your comfort zone. And when we go out to outside our comfort zone, it's, it's you know, it's it kind of, it says it's self, you know, it's not going to be comfortable. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit shaky because maybe you leave your job or you go somewhere where you are not used to in an environment or you do something you're not used to do it. So it's going to be like a little bit shaky, but it's not like a tower moment here. I don't see that. In that sense, I feel like it's going to be, you know, 
your, the end result here is like a peaceful release and you taking back your power and feeling like you're very, very in control. Yeah, so, I mean, let's do tarot cards. Yeah, <laughs> let's do tarot cards, but they, because they can show us a little bit more the energy. I see one deck I wanted to do. Let's see here which deck we should use. And we have Gregory Scott Tarot, and it's called Gregory Scott Tarot of Positive Clarity. So, yeah, positive clarity is coming into your life, and you're going to come out of that damn labyrinth that you've been in with so many obstacles. Yeah, I keep seeing you running around. You think you're on your way out and then all of a sudden there's a person there screaming at you and then you run away from that person <laughs> and you go somewhere else and then there's some financial situation going on. You're like, oh no, let's run, let's try to find another way out. And then you find another way out and then something's going on with your pet and you're like, oh no. So there's like a lot of things, like it's like you can't escape. You, you it's like, can't get out of your own... I don't know, it's like a prison almost. It sounds so strange to say, but yeah, something is like a prison. Wow, <laughs> this card just flipped over. Nine of Pentacles. So this is really tells you getting out of prison. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this was nice to get. So yeah, uh, reward, L rewarded efforts. Yeah, a lot of reward is coming for you. You're finally going to get out of that damn labyrinth. It makes me frustrated. Yeah, I feel like a lot of frustration here. <laughs> I really, I can really feel this energy of wanting to sit down and just scream and just say like, bah, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, whew, there's a lot of high energy in, in today's reading, like a, um, like a little bit of intensity. So I really think like, I really think like things are coming to its uh, verge of really releasing a lot of heavy things. But even in pile number one, I also said, I don't feel like this big purges. I feel like more gentle releases. And I think it's because, you know, um, Capric Pluto is moving into Aquarius. It's been in Capricorn, you know, for I don't know how many years, 20 or 14 years. And somehow, you know, it's going to be less difficult. So we already did the hard, hard work. I wanted to say that with Pluto in Capricorn. So if you have some Capricorn placements rising, um, uh, sun, moon rising or something else, you're, you could be that the last, I think it's since 2008, somebody wrote in the comment section last time, I said 2005, yeah, since 2008, uh, Pluto has been in Capricorn, it's been very difficult, especially for people with Capricorn placements, and so you, even if you don't uh, recognize, even if you don't have Capricorn placements, it's been difficult for all of us, it's been like a lot of hard work, so somehow, you know, you've already worked with all these things in your labyrinth, you know, that is affecting your everyday life with the six tie. Yeah, it's affecting your everyday life. You already dealt with all these things, but you just couldn't seem to get out of it completely. You wanted to get out of it completely. Now the earth shifts here. Now the earth shifts. Now you're going to get out of this completely and you're going to get help of this collective energies, you know, when Pluto... Uh, is changing signs as well, you know? So yeah, and, and somehow, because you've been dealing with this thing so many times over and over again, now it's just like the really cleansing release, you know? It's not these big purges you've been going through for so many years. So yeah, more more, <laughs> more uh, beautiful cleanse here. And finally, you know, getting some abundance and getting out of prison. Yeah, I keep hearing that. So yeah, getting out of that prison, that karmic prison, that prison of the labyrinth after one problem after another just presenting itself to you and piling upon each other maybe or something like that. So yeah, a lot of rewards coming in here and a lot of abundance coming in here. So now your manifest manifestations are finally taking off and your abundance is finally coming in here. Strength. Look at this, how you're being saved almost. See here. So yeah, thoughts, your mind. And there is a, what is this called? This fence. I don't like this fence. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because animals can get stuck in it. But anyways, yeah, look at this fence here. And it's like in your head, you've been stuck and you know, this has kind of been surrounding your labyrinth. So even when you try to get out, you were always like hurting yourself on a thought or in a situation. Look how the angels are picking you up now and removing you from that. It's going to change a lot. Your life has demanded a lot of strength and courage for you. There's going to be one last 
big thing that you need to do here to take yourself out of something and it's going to demand once again <laughs> i'm going to say it again you have to go you have to go beyond your comfort zone yeah you have to otherwise yeah you just have to this is going to push you to do that and i feel like you're going to want to do that because there's new fresh energy coming in you're going to feel it you're going to feel like wow okay the grass is actually greener on the other side <laughs> how strangely that sounds so yeah finally you're coming out of something and look at this this car just stayed the sun Wow, you're free. You're not in the labyrinth anymore. Summer is here. Yeah, you're not there anymore. You're running free on this field of sunflowers, uh, embracing em embracing your abundance and your freedom and the warmth of the sun. So wow, big shift here. Big shift. Something with your inner child is healing big time. Yeah, very healing big time. Let's see here. We can fit one last card. King of Swords. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what a great way to end your reading with queen king of swords clear thinking you know very clear thinking <laughs> not confused anymore path has opened up completely for you no labyrinth anymore the labyrinth is gone the prison is gone you're out of prison and you are free wow this was very strong reading <laughs> yeah very strong reading so uh pile number two this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, part two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three and welcome to your reading. So you felt drawn to the judgment card here. And I almost, <laughs> I almost looked like she was holding a newborn baby here. So it made me think like birth, something new is coming here. Yeah, something new is coming in here. Let's keep it over there and let's dive into your cards to find out together what is about to finally go your way. And we have Privileged Lady. Wow. Okay, looking good. Going to feel very good about this. Hmm. We have Mercury in Gemini with excitement. So third house here, the house of communication. And look at this card. There's a man sitting on this white horse uh announcing something very loudly here announcing something so something is going to be announced it's going to give you a lot of excitement yeah <laughs> good news there's going to be big good news coming to you and you're going to feel yeah privileged maybe maybe this maybe it's just for your ears but somehow it's being yeah it's being it's, it's being loud, you know, very loudly, you know, it's kind of like in the newspapers, maybe it's about you. <laughs> something ends up in the newspaper or in the radio or in TV or something like that. But you are the one, you are the privileged one here. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Exciting reading. The thread. Yeah, wow. The rainbow here, the miracle coming here, magic. The magic thread. Wow, it's taking you out of a dark place. So something good news coming in, taking you out of a dark place. It could be even miracles and magic coming. You're really getting something that's going to feel very pr privileged, very privileged, very happy, maybe a new house. <laughs> could be anything here, but yeah, I just saw this uh, beautiful house and clothes. Maybe like your financial situation is changing because you, you're it's a privileged lady. You have money and you have... Mater material possessions, you know, it's about being privileged lady. Yeah, a lot of material possessions here. You can buy whatever you want. And I mean, excitement. You're very excited about this. The thread taking you out of something. It's looking, this reading looks good. Stillness with the swan. Hmm. Privileged lady and the white swan. I don't know why, but often in pile number three, there's always swans. <laughs> yeah. So if you're, I don't know if you're often drawn to pile three, maybe there's something with swan energy, grace, nobility that's connected to your energy, purity, even like a soulmate that's on your path or like a twin flame or something like that. Yeah, I just wanted, it was a side message. But stillness, there's a big fuss. <laughs> there's something coming here to save you. See here, they, they want to save. They're they like, oh, finally, they, the, the thing that we've been waiting for is here. You know, they're coming out of their graves. They're all gray, <laughs> gray people coming out of their graves and, you know, ready to be lifted up into the, to the heavens, into the sky, ready to go, being lifted out of the darkness to something lighter. So yeah, you're being something, <laughs> some good news are coming in. It's making a big fuss. 
It's taking you out of a place. It's making you richer, more fortunate and more richer. <laughs> yeah, rich. Yeah, you're something with your financial situation is changing. And then comes the stillness and the peace here. So yeah, after the fuss is over, maybe it's like, oh, okay, this is my new life now. <laughs> yeah, so your life is really changing here. New life. Look at the bigger picture. The full moon in Sagittarius. Yeah, once again, it's like you're rising above something. With the Saggy energy here. Rising above something. So we have Sagittarius energy and with Gemini energy. So yeah, the Sagittarius fire and the air element with Gemini. So it really feels like you're rising like an air balloon rising over something and grow, outgrowing a problem in your life, being lift, you're, they're lifting you up, you know, look at this. Everything is talking about you going upwards. So yeah, maybe you're going, up, you're going upwards in life. Your status of life is changing with the privileged lady. Yeah, look at this. They're, they're waiting for her to lift, lift them up. Here also, you're being lifted up. And even the, the Sagittarius here, you know, look at this, uh, arrow and bow <laughs> i think it's called that so anyways yeah it's pointing upward so once again showing going upwards you're going up in life <laughs> yeah you're i don't know what it's called but your status in life is changing you're growing you're going upwards and you're reaching new levels uh, of richness and fortune and success and some of you yeah there is rewards here or there is announcements in the newspaper or something like that tv social media there's announcements and every everybody's hearing this can't it's it's it, yeah a lot of people are hearing this it's like you can't hear it because it's really like announcing this very lar um, loudly with like a lot of excitement maybe you are announcing something that you have created yeah you know i said it was a baby or maybe you had created something you gave birth to a baby some of you yeah maybe a baby but for most of you i think this is like a creative idea or something that you've been working on you're presenting it to the world with excitement maybe and it's being very well rece received it's making you rich <laughs> making maybe it's making you rich or something and uh yeah, <laughs> this is nice. I hope this is my reading because I am this is the first time saying it actually. I'm about to announce a new or I made my first Oracle deck and I'm soon gonna open the pre-order. So I'm claiming this deck. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. Anyways, uh I mean this pile. So let's see what else we have here. Basil. Prosperity, luck, and love. Look at this! Ladybugs. Yeah, so much luck here. So much prosperity. Yeah, I said love because I said this is pile three is this swan pile. Every I don't know why every time you pile three, there's always some swan. Or when there are swans, they usually end up in pile three. So yeah, luck and love. So there could definitely be time for more love in your life or somebody coming into your life. And but yeah, prosperity. Communication, being clearer, being able to communicate clearer. Hmm, path is opening up for you. There's like so much excitement. I can't even smell the, <laughs> I can't even smell the smell of the basil, you know, like pesto or like a nicely cooked pasta or something smells so good in your pile. Food, something with food. Yeah, eating food, going out on restaurants maybe, maybe going to a restaurant with your loved one, celebrating your success and uh, yeah, you know, celebrating your success and being very happy about this. So yeah. <laughs> let's see what's going on letting go everything is in need everything is indeed out of control and god will hold it all and can and, and god will hold it all i can safely let go wow <laughs> that was a tongue twister so yeah i can safely let go hmm let's do more cards fate believe it okay these colors goes very good together here, actually. Purple, violet, blue. Hmm. The last card here is the journey. You're learning that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside. I think you're really about to learn this. It's like the end of the journey and the bonus or the reward is about to come in here. There, yeah, there's... You're really going, something is really going to make you believe. <laughs> something is really going to make you believe in the, uh, your ability to manifest, in your ability to 
uh, or in, in universe ability to provide what you need or what you want. You're even going to get more than you need, you know, with the privileged lady here. <laughs> it's going to be very, very nice. Uh, something is being let go here as well. And this feels like something else. Because, yeah, this this the, the news here that came in here, like we said, it was making a fuss, it was exciting. But the one thing that we also talked a little bit about, it's also going to save you from something. It's also going to help you out of something. I think generally you're just going, you're just moving from being in a very um, challenging uh, phase of your life to like going upwards and look how you're really holding on to that rope with one hand, this red rope. And the red rope makes me feel like your destiny in some way. So you're, you're holding on here and I keep feeling like you're being pulled up now. You're being pulled up now to the rainbow here. And you're going to first handily, I don't know if I said that right, you're going to really experience how universe can work wonders even for you <laughs> yeah so yeah this is because there's going to be undeniable this thing happening to you it's just gonna it's just going to be this beautiful success yeah it's a beautiful success here and a beautiful change in your life so yeah prosperity and good news exciting news so it's just going to be like yeah uh, because of that it's going to strengthen your faith. And because of that, you're letting something go that you were holding on to. And before you were like, yeah, uh, but you know, so say that you were holding on to a job, but all of a sudden you, you are getting rich, you know? <laughs> you're like, then you, you're not, it's not difficult to let go. So the thing that you're letting go of, finally you're letting go of, that you had troubles letting go of, you're going to let go of it very easily now. Yeah, the journey has come to its end and you're letting that go. And you're also learning how, Beautiful your journey has been, but something is definitely coming to an end. And this is the big reward that comes in the end of this journey. And I feel like two, three things are being intertwined here. <laughs> so yeah, one thing is like a creative project or vision or vision for your future that you had, something that you've been trying to manifest that I really feel like is coming to full fruition. Another thing I feel is like a difficult situation in your life that you've been very stuck in and that has been very hard for you to overcome. I feel like the, the success that you have with your uh, vision and your goal here, because you're manifesting that very, very strongly, it's like you're raising your vibration, which makes you look at the big picture, it's like you're rising, rising, and you're looking down, and all of a sudden it's like, why didn't I let that go, I don't even want that anymore, so somehow you're letting that go very easily, and it was very difficult, and the third thing that I feel is like, just like your whole energy is shifting, you had a journey, like you had a long journey, and now with that one big face of your life is coming to its end, it wouldn't surprise me if you got the world card, because I see the world card, something, something is coming to its end, you're closing a chapter, you're letting go of an old version of you. You're letting go of an old way of living your life. You're finally being pulled up here into the rainbow here, into the abundance that everybody's talking about in all the readings. You're finally, it's finally your time. <laughs> You're finally reaching that. Yeah. Wow. So let's do some tarot cards. And let's do... Okay, I want to do this deck. So yeah, let's do this deck. And we have the Crow Tarot. Hmm. Yeah, because the Crow Tarot is interesting because it's a little bit... I wouldn't say that it's darker. It's actually a beautiful deck. But yeah, it's still the Crow. I mean, the Crow Tarot. I feel something dark leaving your life. Yeah, something dark and heavy leaving your life. And it feels like it has been with you for a very long time. Look at this page of pentacles. <laughs> Just flipped over here. So yeah, good news. And this, pro this project that you've been working on is going to take off. It's going to take off and it's going to give you success. Page of pentacles. Hmm. Page of pentacles also makes me feel like really like you're stepping into a completely new energy of your life. Ace of swords. Wow. Yeah, big breakthrough. Ace of swords go Ace of Swords goes beautifully together also with the judgment card. Really showing this big shift and transformation coming here. A rebirth. It's a rebirth and I feel really heavy. Like it could be like that now when you're watching the reading you're climbing 
up to the top because right now it really feels like something is heavy and like almost like a little bit hopeless maybe it's been a very long journey and maybe it's very hard to see how you're going to let this go or how all these things going to happen because you're really in the dark here see here you're really in the dark here holding on with one hand on that thread of hope you know on your destiny but look how beautifully everything is clearing up here so yeah something is really heavy ace of swords also shows you know it comes in when it's really like a big shift happening from nowhere almost with ace of swords three of cups so yeah a lot of celebrations here with three of cups and i was again getting this food so yeah for some of you you're going to um, take your friends out for dinner because you're going to be it's going to be nice for you maybe to have more money and uh, you want to celebrate all your good things so yeah i want to say also like the, the success is here to stay with stillness it really feels like Things are going to calm down a lot in your life. Like the big struggle is over. The big journey is over. There's going to be a completely new energy that you're moving into. Yeah, completely new energy. Two of Swords. Yeah, you, you've been... <laughs> you've been... Uh, um, you've been stuck for a long time or you've been struggling for a long time. So yeah, and, and that is almost the energy I'm picking up now a little bit now when I'm doing a reading. It's like, no, it's not going to happen. You know, this is just another positive reading and yeah, it's not going to happen, you know, and this and that. So there is a little bit of tired, like being tired of the journey and really not really believing in it. But we had faith and believe it. See here, faith and believe it. And that really makes me think like when this all this happening, you're really going to, your your faith is going to strengthen because all of a sudden it's happening to you. You know, we need to go through those experiences when good things really happens to us, when we actually manifest things to believe that we, we're in our own capacity to do that. So I really feel like your faith is really going to strengthen. You're going to go from a non-believer to a believer, like something like that. Not saying that you're a non-believer, but there is something here that's like, yeah, this this struggle. Yeah, I just keep feeling struggle. So and that's also why you're so excited. Finally, you know, you're getting some really Good, 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 good news. So it's going to make you super, super excited. So I want to do one more card here, the High Priestess. Wow, your energy is going to shift a lot. You know, you're going to shift. Yeah, your energy is going to shift completely. You're going to feel lo more loved by the universe, more aligned with life, more in the flow and, you know, intuit, you're connected, you're just going to feel so much connected, you have a wedding wheel here, whale, whale, wheel, not wheel, whale, maybe, <laughs> yeah, it looks like it here, so, th and this feels like a sacred marriage, actually, so some kind of sacred marriage, well, I don't know what that means, but we had this one here, so maybe somebody's getting married with some kind of, or meeting some kind of, your energy is shifting like a lot. Like, there's a lot of things going on in Paltri, you know. We're jumping from one thing to another here. But yeah, something with sacred union um, with your loved one. But also your sacred union with God, Source, the Divine, Deities, whatever you're connected with. Whatever you're connected with, you're coming out of the disconnection. And you're going to be very connected. You're privileged in so many ways. We said definitely materially, financially, something, some project is really taking off here, like breakthrough, Page of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. Yeah, breakthrough in some kind of endeavor that you've been working on or something that you've been doing and a lot of success finally, like a lot of movement. Uh, but also spiritually growing like a lot like a lot lot and I feel like this is the end of your journey and it's like messy it's a messy end <laughs> yeah somehow it's a messy end yeah and and that's nice because it's making like a big noise and then comes the stillness and then comes the calm so it's like kind of the last stretch so yeah it's the last stretch so just hold on to this thread here just hold on just you hold on to that thread you're almost out of it pile number three Hmm, I want to do more card gem magician. I was thinking like, yeah, I think magician pile is for you. So this was definitely confirming it. So yeah, you should check pile two. And if you check pile two, probably in pile two, I said check pile one. So that's the order today, maybe three, two, one. Yeah, strange order actually. But yeah, three, two, one. I think it's the order of today's reading. So the magician and page of wands. And look at this. Something is becoming announced. See how the crow is screaming here. 
or crawling, I don't know the word. So something is definitely being announced here. Uh, you're going to get some really, 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 really good news. You're going to manifest. It's like all your manifestation has been on hold with the Two of Swords here. Yeah, they've been on hold. It's like a big plug is being popped, you know, or, you know, like a dam, you know, sometimes I talk about the dam, the dam breaks and all this abundance, you know, when the dam breaks, you know, with the water, it, it comes with a force with the Ace of Swords. So there's this forceful energy of rebirth and it's like everything comes at once. So I don't know what you've been doing. It's like, it's something, it's like you've been working and trying, but you, it's like you've been building up an, the, the energy and now it comes to its climax and the climax here is this big burst of this dam where everything comes at once. Woof. And that's why it's, it's making a big fuss, uh, good things. And uh, like, I feel like a little speeded, you know, I did it in all these readings today. So really energies like, uh, coming to its end. And I think also, you know, because I talked in part two, I think that Pluto is finally shifting, you know, from being in Capricorn, you know, uh, which it, it has been since 2008. And it's been like a lot of focus, it's transformation. Pluto is about transformation. And Capricorn, you know, is a very hard working, very, of all the zodiac signs, is the most hard working, um, a sign, you know, so it's been like a lot of hard work to, to to transform and to manifest a lot of hard work And now it's finally shifting into Aquarius. So that shift is actually massive So if it kind of feels like this is kind of the end, you know, we're tired and we're almost at the top and it's like almost You know when we go to the top, it's this I don't know what it's called, you know, it's the hardest stretch to climb so maybe it's the hardest stretch to climb but you have faith here hold on to that thread you're almost at the top here so you quickly almost you're coming out because this force the the earth shifts the energy shifts and then there's this force that is kind of pushing all of us <laughs> but definitely you party pushing you uh completely to the other side and the journey is completely done yeah so all the good things that you've been waiting for is going to come. There's going to be a lot of closure, a lot of letting go, and it's going to be easy to finally let go because there's going to be so many positive things coming into your life that you're not even going to think about the negative things in your life, rethinking them and wondering, should I keep this or should I do this or should I do that? You're off, you know? You're off into your abundance. So everything that's not resonating with you anymore is going to be very easy for you to release. Yeah, very easy. Wow, and I mean, high priestess and the magician, you know, so both the feminine and the masculine energy here. Yeah, once again, sacred union. Some of you are really coming to union with your twin, twin flame or attracting your twin flame or coming to union. I am finding your forever soulmate. You know, I mean, that's almost nicer than a twin flame because then you don't have to have a whole lifetime of spiritual purge <laughs> and transformations. So yeah, I mean, soulmate journey is very beautiful and it means living your life in abundance and stability is, you know, it's very nice. So some of you really like meeting the one. Yeah, maybe you go somewhere where you meet the one, but yeah, the one. And this is also showing how you are in union, in the sacred union with yourself, your own man, masculine and feminine energy, and also, you know, the divine and your connection with the divine. Yeah. Wow, a lot of things going on here. I hope it was clear because I felt like I was jumping here and then there and then there. And it was like, yeah. So this is like a little bit the energy, but you're going to be out of that soon. Mm. Okay, part three. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the comment section. Either way, part three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.